Hey y'all, let's look at something called linear inequalities. We've already done, um, we've already messed with inequalities, right? An equation means something's equal. An inequality is one of those where it has a greater than or a less than sign, or maybe greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So we're gonna graph these things now. But let's start off with doing some simple stuff. <clears throat> you don't have to write this down if you don't want to, but just kind of be aware of it, what it looks like. We can graph this, right? y equals 2x minus 5. If we're talking about a babysitting example, we're talking about, oh, they charge you five bucks to rent the room out, but then they give you two bucks per kid. So you want as many kids as you can, you know, uh, as long as they're good to babysit so you can offset that $5. Anyway, when you look at that equation, you should be able to visualize what that looks like on a graph which is to say it go, the y-intercept is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's the point right there. Your slope is going to be 2, which means it's positive because so it's going to, up and to the right. So 2 up and over 1, 2 up and over 1, and it looks like that. Now that's the line. You, there we go. Okay. All right. A couple other things we need to look at. Look at this. This is exactly the same thing as that, except for it says greater than, okay? Well, greater than, when we're talking about on a graph, means on top of. So if somebody said to you the graph y is greater than 2x minus 5, we're talking about you just shade in very lightly this part right there since it's above, okay? The other thing is this. You do not want to include <clears throat> this actual line because it says greater than the line. So what you want to do is to indicate that you're just doing greater than by putting kind of like, you know, dashes or dots or whatever you want to call them. Okay. All right. Here's another one. Y is less than 2x minus 5. Well, what do you suppose that's going to look like? Yeah. I mean, it'll be down here, right? It's going to be on the bottom. So if you were to shade that, you would just go, oh, I'm shading this part down here. You know, that's, nice. that's Y equals less than 2x minus 5. All right. How about this one? Y is greater than or equal to, <clears throat> which is different from this one. Okay, the way you indicate that, and we're gonna go, I'm gonna erase just so you'll kind of see this a little better. So this is not this anymore, which greater than or equal to. To indicate that it's equal to means you are going to go ahead and fill in that line and not have a dotted line to indicate that we are including that. It's kind of like filling in the, the dot when you Grab something on a number line to indicate you do include the three. Like y is or x is greater than or equal to three. You would kind of fill in the dot like this and go to the right like that or whatever. Okay. The last one you probably guess what it's going to be. Y is less than or equal to this, which means you're going to shade in this part since it's on the bottom. You're not going to include this, but you will have a solid line that indicates it is equal to as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. There you go. That's how you do the whole thing in a nutshell. Okay, so let's do a couple of these examples. We'll do four examples, then we'll go on to our practice problems. Okay, first up, y is greater than negative x plus 2. Okay, and again, you should be able to visualize this as a line. You should see immediately that the y-intercept is 2. So there's your, you know, y-intercept right there. The slope is negative 1 over 1, if you want to call it that way which means you can take this dot and go, you know, one down, one over. I don't care. You can go one up and then just make sure the thing's pointing down. So this is what your line looks like, like this. It goes like that. Okay. And since it's greater than, it's going to be just on top. It doesn't include the line. So what you're going to kind of do is kind of make it look like a dotty line there. Okay. So ding, 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 like that. And everything to the top. That's what the graph looks like. It doesn't include the line, it's just greater than that. Okay, let's try another one. If you need to, you know, of course, you know, pause it and copy, that's fine. All right, this time we have y is less than or equal to 2x minus 1. So this time we can fill in the line solid because it does equal the line as, as well as being less than. So, okay, babysitter setup, they charge you a dollar for the room, they give you $2 a kid. Okay, the y intercept is negative 1, so there it goes right there. The slope is two up and one over. Two up and one over. All right, that's your slope. You're going to go ahead and fill in the ugh, fill in the line if you can hit the dots for heaven's sakes, like that. And it'll be everything less than that, so it's going to be on the bottom side. So that look like that. 
Don't get fancy. <clears throat> make these real fast and make them really easy and quick to do. Okay, two more. These, are, these last two are a little bit odd. Okay, this we have y is greater than negative 2. Now, if you remember, of course, this is your x-axis. This is your y-axis, okay? So the y value, if you just had this equation, y is equal to negative 2, you would say, oh, good, my line, <clears throat> my line is right here across here. It's at negative 2, the y value. But what you're going to, what you're asking, you're asked for is y is greater than negative 2. So it means you're not going to include the actual line itself. You're going to use some dashes or dots or something like that. Then you're going to fill in everything greater than that. And there you go. And that's it. Okay. All right. The last type is x is less than 3. And, you know, you probably guessed. Again, this is your x-axis. This is your y-axis. If this were x equals 3 graphed a line, you would go, oh, a straight line up and down at the 3. Boom. But you're not going to do that. x is less than 3. Okay. Now, here's a surprise for you. Look in your book. Look on page 488, and that'll show you. But guess what the line's going to look like if x is less than 3. Will it be on the left side or will it be on the right side? What do you think? Okay, well, it's less than, right? So we're talking about the number line. Lesser numbers are on the left. So that's what your graph is going to look like. Okay, and that's it. Piece of cake. All right, try the practice problems. Try all three of those, and then we'll come together. Okay, well, x is less than negative 2. Well, it looks very similar to this one right here, right? x is less than negative 2. looks like this. It's a dotted line because you don't include the negative 2. looks like that. And we have filled in like that. All right, pause it and try the next one. Okay, next one we have y is less than or equal to 3x minus 2. Okay, babysitting situation, you're charged 2 bucks, you make 3 bucks a kid, it's a little better situation. Okay, so that means the y-intercept is at negative 2. Your slope is 3, so one, 3 over 1, 1, 2, 3, and over. 1, 2, 3, and 1 over. 1, 2, 3, and so on. All right. You do have the equal sign, so it will equal the line. So you get to fill the line in. It's a solid line. And it's going to be less than or equal to that. So you'll have what's here on the bottom, underneath there. There you go. There. Okay, filled in. All right, pause it and try the last one. Y is greater than or equal to half x plus 1. Okay, well, this is going to be one, again, you can fill it in because of the equal sign, okay? The y-intercept is positive 1. The slope is a half, so up 1 and over 2, up 1 and over 2, and so on, okay? You can fill in the line. Wow, I hit the dots that time. All right, greater than, which means you're going to get this part filled in. There you go. Okay, that is it for 115. See you next time.